in the question number 16 the speed of sound in oxygen gas at temperature 27 is v naught if sound travel in hydrogen gas then at what temperature the speed of sound becomes 2 v naught means double okay so according to the problem first i would like to write the formula of speed and that is v is equal to gamma r t by m where t is the temperature and you can say absolute temperature according to the problem speed in oxygen to the speed in hydrogen becomes double means 1 by 2 so this is the value you have now if i use the formula this so first i would like to write gamma r t1 m2 and gamma r t2 m1 that is equal 1 by 2 if i use this relation gamma r gamma r will cancel out on squaring both sides so we'll get t1 into m2 t2 into m1 due to square on both side will come 1 by 4 now i'm going to put the value first i need the value of t1 t1 is 27 degree when you will add 273 we'll get 300 so that will give you 300 into 2 t2 into 32 and that is equal to 1 by 4 so when you will calculate value of t2 you will get 75 kelvin so i can say my option number one will be the right choice so let's move on question number 17 problem number 17 uniform roof of length 12 meter mass 4 kg hung vertically from a rigid support a transverse wave pulse is produced as lower end the speed of the wave pulse x equal 2.5 meter from lower end will be okay you know the speed of wave t by mu t is the tension mu is the linear mass density means mass per unit length so first i would like to write the value of tension in terms of weight so mu into x where mu is the linear mass density and x is the required length into g divided by mu 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 will cancel so you have this relation x into g where x is the distance from lower end so now when you will place the value x according to the problem this is value of g is 10 and value of x is 5 by 2 because 2.5 meter is given so when you will calculate 2 5 jar 10 will get 5 meter per second so this is the speed so i can say my option number 2 will be the right choice let's move on question number 18 in the problem number 18 the velocity of sound is generally lesser in gases than solid because as compared to gases so you can solve this question by using the formula speed modulus of elasticity by rho modulus of elasticity of solid is more than gas therefore speed in solid will be more so you can find easily if i read the option the elasticity of solid is very high yes absolutely correct so my option number one will be the right choice let's move on question number 19 in the problem number 19 standing wave four nodes okay three anti node form between two fixed end of a string length six meter yes then the wavelength of the standing wave so this is a general question so i'm going to make one two just like this so i can write this is node and this is another node another node node according to the question four nodes are there so one two three four and anti node one anti node two anti node three so you can write the length as per the question is six meter and one two three so easily i can write three lambda by two that is equal length because distance between node to node will lambda by two so first lambda by two second lambda by two and third lambda by two so you can write three lambda by two is equal to the l okay l is equal to six so you will calculate the value of lambda easily so 
lambda will come 4 meter so this is how you can deal so my option number 4 will be the right choice let's move on question number 20 in the problem number 20 a wave represented by the given equation a sin omega t minus kx superimpose on another wave giving a stationary wave having anti-node x equal to 0 the equation of another wave is okay according to the given condition at x equal to 0 equation of standing wave will be you know very well you will write 2a cos kx sin omega t right but according to the principle of superposition i can write y is equal to y1 plus y2 as per the situation the value of y as i said 2a cos kx sin omega t and that is equal by 1 because the first one is this so you will write a sin omega t minus kx i need another y2 so another wave giving a stationary wave having anti node x equal to 0 the equation so i can write a sin omega t plus kx now and if i compare this suppose that is equal to a sin omega t minus kx and this is the value of y2 if i compare equation 1 and 2 then easily you can find in place of y2 on comparing i have the value of y2 is a sin omega t plus kx so you can compare so easily you can find the value of y2 as per the demand of the question so i can say my option number two will be the right choice so let's move on question number 21